Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with an unboxing from a diamond painting company whose kits I have worked on before and really enjoyed, and the owner is super sweet, and that is True Artist Diamond Painting over on Etsy. Now, I did go ahead and cut through the tape on the packaging, even though I haven't opened it yet, but I, I just remembered it taking me a minute to get into one of these last time, so I thought, let me get a head start. So, True Artist Diamond Painting, um, Diamond Painting is a shop on Etsy, like I said, and they license their artwork. They're a little bit newer to the diamond painting community, and I've had the chance to work on and complete one of their kits, and I've purchased one or two other kits from them, and I think that they have really, really nice quality, and I really enjoy supporting um, small businesses in the community. So um, I especially love all of these really sweet small business touches. Let me show you. So there is that. Let me shift this out of the way. So Grace has sent along some candy, which I may give to my kids or steal for myself. Starburst too. <laughs> A little bit of self-care to go with your self-care. <laughs> And then, ooh, a fidget spinner pop. Oh, yeah, no, I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm a super fidgety, so um, thank you, actually. <laughs> I'll try not to let my kids swipe that. And Grace also included a card. I think their branding is super cute as well. Stickers and then inventory stickers, which that's right. There is actually more than one kit in here. And one of them was sent as a surprise. I'll get into that more in just a moment. Uh, but the one that I had ordered was from the artist Elettra Brunelli. And you can pause and read if you're curious. But this is the, I believe, the first kit from this artist. Do you see dragons on here? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. And here is the info um, that True Artist has included on their cards. So I really appreciate that. And so when I when I ordered the Dragon Kit that I'm about to show you, um, it was as soon as I saw the notification that they had a new kit, I went and looked and immediately bought it. <laughs> and then shortly after, Grace sent me a message and was like, thank you so much for supporting my shop. Um, I am going to send, as a thank you, like I'm going to send you a kit that has yet to be released, but I'm really excited about. So thank you so, so much, Grace, for sending over a kit for me to, I suppose, sneak peek with you guys. And uh, she told me a little bit about the background of this kit, and I'm really, really looking forward to getting to share it with you. So let me start with the kit that I ordered. My gosh, I'm so excited. And this, is it their first square drill kit? I will have to double check that, but look, oh my gosh. Okay, let me roll this backwards. I know I'm being sneaky about the other canvas. We'll look at it in just a moment, I promise. But let me roll this backwards to help it lay flat. True artists kits are on poured glue. It's a really nice quality and the canvases are pretty soft though I'm not one to be too picky about the softness of the back of the canvases I work on I just honestly would like for it to be a nice quality canvas that's gonna hold the drills well um, the edges are scalloped and finished so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying um, here's their branding we have here's the artwork over here on the top right this is 50 by 64 centimeters has 32 colors, there's our key code. We have the same legend over on the bottom left. We have the name of the artwork and the artist. It has been licensed and here's their website. Of course, I'll link directly to their Etsy shop below. But look, look how pretty this is. So again, as soon as I saw this, I saw the colors, I saw that it's a dragon. And of course it's a small shop with licensed artwork. I was really, really all about jumping on this and supporting their shop in that way. So um, this one, let me see, I have two sets of drills here. 
so yeah this is the colors for this one look at those amazing colors and if i had to guess let's see does this number match yep it does okay um so because these did not come in their own true box i'm going to be storing my canvases uh, these canvases flat in an artist portfolio and then i have a tote that i put all of my bags of drills in so this uh, TADPS and then 1025 and then it has the size uh, that number that model number I suppose matches up with here so it'll be easy for me to match those up later if I couldn't tell by the colors <laughs> look how pretty okay now here is the sticker I probably will also go ahead and just kind of um, stick this sticker in here like inside the bag that's pro honestly that's probably what I'll do to make it even easier let's take a quick look at the Ooh, wait, no, look, first let's look at the canvas a little more closely. Then we'll look at the drills. I'm just getting really excited and forgetting all the things. <laughs> Let me grab, okay, tape measure. Let's take a look. This should be a 50 by 64 centimeters. We're gonna measure just the drill field. We are maybe half, three quarters a centimeter shy of 50. And then, almost exactly at 64. So I'm calling that true to size. I give companies a centimeter or so like of wiggle room because you never know how it's going to, how the artwork is gonna just be proportionally. So as far as the glue itself goes, yes, it's super, super sticky. Let's take a look at the symbols on the canvas. These are printed incredibly clearly and crisply, like, oh my gosh like some of the clearest symbols I feel like I've seen printed. I'm not seeing any symbols that it looks like I'm going to mix up with one another. Let me see. Let's make sure that, okay, so these are a little bit similar, but they're printed so clearly, I truly don't think that I will mix them up. So there's the spade and then the up arrow, both white on a dark, on a blue background, but again, to me, those are printed very, very clearly, but it's something to keep an eye out for. We have them here again. Um, let me see if there are any others as I'm looking on the side. Those were the two that caught my eye as potential culprits. It looks like there is a mix of what we call color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is when you have a larger section that's all one color you'll be able to use a multi-placer um, won't have to do a bunch of color changes of the drills in your tray confetti on the other hand is for example maybe like what we have in here where there are a lot more color changes you'll probably mostly be single placing and um, I think both are good in a painting so <laughs> look how pretty you guys I'm so excited okay Let's go ahead and now we'll take a look at the drills because I'm trying to remember. Did this one say something about square crystal drills? I cannot remember. I was just so excited to buy. I know this is square drills and I haven't tried a square drill kit from them yet. So they are pre-bagged. So if you wanted to work out of baggies, you totally have that option. Um, I am the kind of person that I will always kit up into storage containers because I personally don't like working out of baggies. Um, I'm just klutzy. <laughs> it works better for me to work out of storage containers. Um, but I know lots of people actually do really like working out of baggies, so that's nice that you have this option. I was going to try to see if I could find any of the darker colors because if square drills are going to have a problem, it'll be with the darker colors. The nice thing is I'm looking at these and they seem really static free. So I think these are probably, these look like they're resin drills to me, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm working on trying to learn how to tell the difference better <laughs> between acrylic and resin. Um, but the quality on these looks really good from what I'm seeing. I'm on the hunt because like I said, I, I don't know why I'm picturing that there might have been another kind of drill. I'll go back and look. 
It looks like they've also gone ahead and they've put the DMC code as well as the weight. So they, these were bagged by weight. On my last kit that I worked from, from this company, I did not run into any issues with running out of drills or anything like that. So, um, oh my gosh, these colors are so happy. I love it. These muted pastels are really, they're right up my alley. So, oops, I just saw a drill go flying. Is one of the bags a little bit open? That's okay, that happens. I am getting just a tiny, tiny bit of an odor from the drills, like when I open it up, but sometimes that happens and um, that's not like a deal breaker for me or anything like that. So this again is crystal dress. You know what, that's why th my brain went, oh, crystals, because it's, there's crystal in the name. Just ignore me, <laughs> just ignore me. Um, but this looks really, really good. I love the colors. I think the size is really nice on this one. Um, and the drill quality looks good. Um, the only thing I would say is just to watch out for those two symbols. It's this arrow and the spade that are a little similar to one another. But again, as long as you're paying attention, I mean, I could tell the difference easily without a light pad, so I'm just not that worried about it. This is super, super pretty. I hope that we get to see more from this artist at True Artist Diamond Painting, Elettra Brunelli. I started following her on Instagram. I'll link to her Instagram as well so you can go and take a look. Okay, so let me share with you the canvas that Gracie sent over to me to sort of sneak peek with you all. And this is from an artist. She didn't have the bio finalized yet to send over to me, like the little insert that was in the card that I showed you. Um, but this is an artist that's local to her and this, this artwork, um, it, it had special meaning to her and I think that it could have really special meaning to others as well. So the name of this piece is Be Your Own Spin Class. And this is from the artist Liam Eisenberg. Um, this was created just as almost like a memoir to the different kinds of things that we had to do to get through the past year and a half, whether that's like exercising at home, surrounding ourselves with all of the plants and finding ways for connection and to keep moving forward. And this artist, I, I think that they've done some artwork for like the New York Times, for Apple, that sort of thing. It's really, really beautiful artwork. Here is, if you wanna take a look, that's the artwork itself. And again, I think that there's just so much about this that really can be meaningful, you know? So this is another square drill kit. It's 45 by 56 centimeters. Um, all the sort of details on the canvas, like the branding, the scalloped edges, and where the legends are and whatnot, those are all the same as on the other canvas. So I'm not gonna cover them in detail, but there's the schematic again. We're gonna have 33 colors in this one, which I I really like that kind of number of colors for canvases in about this size. So I like seeing that. Let's do a really quick measurement. Uh, this is a tick shy of 45 centimeters. And then 56, is that what it's supposed to be? Is that longer? No, that's right, it's right on the money. So true to size and looking at the symbols on the canvas, I am again seeing very, very clear symbols and nothing. Okay, we have that spade and the arrow again actually, but on different colors, so, but they're even more clear in this one. Here's an example, the spade and the, air, and the up arrow. Um, but again, those look really clear to me. Now, if you're seeing right here, what well, looks it looks like it's a crease or a fold on the canvas. It's not. It's just where the plastic cover has shifted. A really, really easy way to take care of that is just uh, roll the plastic cover. Ooh, that's sticky. <laughs> roll the plastic cover back about halfway, and then gently roll it back down. Let's flip it and do it the other way. 
And the reason that I do it like halfway each way, if you haven't seen other unboxings where I've shared as much, um, is because the plastic cover is almost never reversible. And if you were to pull it all the way off, not only is it kind of a pain to like then put back down, but um, you could also run the risk of putting it down on the wrong side and then it'll just stick to the glue and it's not really fun. <laughs> Um, this looks so pretty, you guys, and I, it looks like it has a really, a lot of color blocking, really, like the top half has lots of color blocking, and then there's some confetti in the bottom, so I think this would work up really quickly. Here are the drills, and again, we've got the number here. It looks like it maybe just is starting to fade, so again, I'm going to slip this sticker in here, which this this is a sticker sheet, by the way. So you can use this in your logbook once you know you work on it or you complete it, or like I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna slide this in the bag so that it's easier for me to match up later. But let's take a look at these drills. I am just, I'm loving how bright and vibrant and happy this piece is and the colors too. So we have a couple of bags of this orange. I wonder if that's going to be like that background, bright orange. Like it's just, it's like uplifting, you know, it feels warm and optimistic. Like I, you know. I just, I like it. <laughs> it's It feels encouraging in spite of what the past year and a half has looked like for so many of us. So I think this, I, I really enjoy this about True Artist Diamond Painting is that Gracie seems to be really intentional about finding artwork that's meaningful. Like she's done some pieces that, um, you know, that the proceeds went back to, what was the name of the organization? There was a piece that was really special that she had done that was for that. And so I so appreciate how intentional she is about those sorts of things. Ooh, we do have some 310 in here. And there's a little bit of that, just a tiny bit of odor. But I think that like when this airs out just a little bit, it's gonna be fine. It's something with the drills, like maybe with the manufacturer it came from. It's not bad. It's just, it's one of those things that I noticed and so I mentioned. The drill quality looks good. I'm not seeing trash or tabs. So yeah, I will be curious to see how the drills are. Sometimes with squares, you don't necessarily know until the drills are down, um, if they're going to pop or have any issues. But I, I haven't heard of people having issues with them. So I am very hopeful that it will be fantastic quality like the the round kit that i worked on from them so you guys this again this was be your own spin class from the artist liam eisenberg and then this was crystal dragon by elettra brunelli so i will be sure to link to the true artist diamond painting etsy shop and to these artists instagram accounts if you'd like to follow along with them a huge heartfelt thank you to gracie for sending over be your own spin class for me to get to share with all of you hopefully it will be coming very soon so be sure to visit her etsy shop and hit the heart so that you favorite it and that will let you know you should you should get updates and notifications when she's added new kits to the shop um, but Etsy has been a little dicey for me as far as notifications go. So I will always go back and manually check the shops that I follow as well, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, but yeah, I love what Gracie is doing over at True Artist Diamond Painting. I'm really excited to see what else she has to bring to the diamond painting community. And I've had a really positive experience with her shop so far and definitely encourage you to take a look and support a small business in the community that is doing right by artists and licensing artwork and making sure that artists have not only given their permission for their artwork to be used, but are being compensated for doing so. So, all right, my friends, I hope this was really enjoyable for you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you had the chance to try out True Artist Diamond Painting yet? 
If not, I hope that you find something that you love in the future to try out. Um, and thank you again to Gracie for bringing such beautiful artwork to the community. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or thoughts below. And otherwise, thank you for watching. Um, if you aren't already subscribed and would like to see more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.